Today we're installing seat covers on a C7 Corvette. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today we're going to be showing you how to install custom seat covers from customcovers.com and also extremeonlinestore.com. They've been around for a little while. They've been making uh, covers for Camaro and Porsche and a bunch of other cars and they're just now starting to do C7. And um, they reached out to me and they asked me if I would do a review and an installation on, on their product. And um, I, I said, sure, go ahead and send me a few of them and let me take a look at them because they had a few different colors that they wanted us to try and, and just to see the quality from different, different versions, right? So we went ahead and we did it and they sent them out to us. And you're going to see in the video that I've, uh, I've got various different colors, um, but we did the installation, uh, actual installation on these seats that you're going to see here um, where we pull the seat out and we're going to show you how that's all done. But uh, I, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit first about the quality of these things. I, I am normally, as you, um, most of you car guys, you know, you go to the store, you buy car covers or car seat covers and they don't fit or they look like crap. Um, these things fit like a glove. I mean, they really do. And you're going to see in the video that, uh, you know, there's extra backing in there. These look just like basically the covers that you've seen me do when I did a uh, C5 and I did a C4 seats where they actually have the foam uh, already stitched into the back, the reinforced stitching. Um, they, they just look really, really nice. This happens to be the red one, so this is red on red, but they've got red with the black insert, they've got black with the red insert, um, you name it, they've got it. And, um, and they just look really nice. And the thing is, they're actually, once you, once I show you how to do this in the video, you're going to go, wow, these are really simple to install. And yet they look totally factory. They look perfect. So, um, so anyway, uh, go ahead and sit back and relax and uh, watch the show and we'll show you how it's done. I do want to touch base with you on one thing though. Like I said, uh, custom covers, uh, yeah, it's customcovers.com is the ones that actually uh, are supplying the seats, but they are also available through Extreme Online Store. So um, if you, you want to go to either site, you can get them there and uh, they will be happy to take care of you. As you well know, Extreme Online Store has been a sponsor of ours for a long time. And um, so, like I said, you'll, we won't have a problem. They, uh, uh, they will both be able to help you get them. So uh, anyway, sit back, relax, and hopefully you enjoy how it's done, and uh, then you'll know exactly what to do when you get your set. All right, guys, before we get started installing the seat cover, a couple things I want to talk to you about. Um, if you're going to take the seat out to install the covers, you're going to be needing to dis uh, disconnect the cable that's underneath the seat, the power cable. That also has the power uh, going to it for the side airbag. So if you are going to take the seat loose, you're going to want to go back to the trunk and disconnect the negative battery cable from the battery. Make sure you wrap it with something so it doesn't come back down and touch the battery. Um, you just want to make sure that you take that loose, let it sit for five or ten minutes, let the system de-energize so you don't accidentally when you're plugging or plugging it or unplugging or plugging it back in, that you deploy the side airbag. That would not be cool. So um, you don't have to take the seat out. As long as you take the nuts off the bolts, you'll be able to rock the seat backwards and forwards. And once we show you on one seat, you're going to understand how it all hooks on. So it's very simple, but we'll get it out there so you can see it. Um, so otherwise, that's all you need to do. You need to take the two front uh, nuts off and the back nuts off. And then at that point, we'll be able to get the seat out. I'm going to grab the camera and I'm going to put, put it down here underneath the seat so you can see what you're up against as far as pulling the, um, the connector apart. Um, it's very simple to pull apart. Uh, you just have to be able to get underneath there. So uh, you'll see what I'm talking about here in just a second. And then we'll go ahead and we'll, uh, we'll 
take the seat out of the car and we'll set it up on the bench and this this way you can actually see what's going on underneath all right guys hopefully you guys can see this so i've pulled this down there's a little metal clip here that this little guy sits on i've just pulled it down just so you guys can see how it comes apart here and hopefully the camera is picking this up um, so you've got this little gray lever here that's got to push basically got to push down or toward the back of the seat but you also have to be able to and i'm if you had two hands it would be much easier i'm going to try to do this but if you can see right here see what if i can get with my finger right there where i'm pointing there's a little press you press that down like that and then you can press your lever forward like this okay and then that just comes loose Take both hands. We'll pull it pull it apart. You see right there like that Okay, so all again all I've had to do now is pull the the nuts off of the two bolts in the front and the back pull this loose and We pulled the battery loose and we waited about 10 minutes before we did this Okay, and at that point we can go ahead and we can pull the seat out and All right guys, so we're ready to go ahead and pull the seat out the one last thing that we need to do is we need to pull the seat belt itself loose um, because we're gonna go put it on a bench. Now, if you were, if you decide you wanna set the seat just outside the door, there's plenty of, uh, plenty of uh, seat belt that you wouldn't have to take this loose. Now, let me point something out to you. There is normally, you can see right here on this back side, there is normally a cover, okay? And the other side looks just like it normally, okay? But for some reason, we bought this car used, and for whatever reason, they swiped this cover off of the seat belt. Um, I shouldn't say I know for whatever reason. I know exactly why. Uh, I, I called the Chevy dealer to get another cover for this, and they are not available. So the only way we're going to be able to hunt one of these down is to be able to... Um, to just basically get one out of a wrecking yard somewhere and I just haven't had good enough luck. So anyway, when you go to do this, you're not just gonna see this bolt, you're gonna need to be able to take it take it completely, uh, take the cover off it, it just pops off, it's not a big deal, but it's not here, so I wanted to point that out. So this just comes loose, um, this is a 10 millimeter, okay, and we're just gonna take that loose, just like that. And then that releases the seat belt. Okay. Now, what you also want to do is don't let this thing retract all the way either. Okay. Um, because it could, your seat belt could get jammed. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie, tie a knot in this real quick so it doesn't retract. Um, I've had this happen one time before. So this way we've got a little bit of room that we can pull it back. Okay. So we're just going to leave that hanging. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and pull the seat out now. And this is like I was saying, you wanna make sure that the seat, the uh, roof is off. It makes it that much easier just to get it out of there. Okay, John's gonna close the door for me. And we'll take it over here. And we'll set it up here on the bench. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lay it down. And see what we're doing here. So guys, before I get started putting, showing you how this all comes apart and how we cover it and everything, I wanted to be able to show you the cover itself before we go any further. Um, these are a synthetic or simulated leather, but I gotta tell you, they feel really, really good. They feel like real leather. Um, and all the stitching, uh, it's done really, really well. You know, everything is reinforced. Uh, it just looks great. I mean, whoever, however they're they're stitching these, they're stitching them just like a regular regular seat would be. Um, they have they've already got the cutouts here, so you don't have to worry about taking the, the seat apart to be able to you know take the airbag loose or anything like this. This is the spot for the seat release, and this is the side the spot for this the side uh, airbag, and then they also have the Velcro that locks the two pieces together here that gives it gets it nice and tight okay so and then this spot right here is for the seat belt retainer um, it's done really really well now 
When we slide these on, you're going to want to make sure that it has a zipper here. You want to make sure the zipper is loose. And we're going to get to that here in a minute. We're going to do the bottom first because the, the, uh, the back is actually very simple to do. Um, but the, uh, the bottom is the one that you're going to have a little, bit of, a little bit of trouble getting them hooked up. And we're going to show you why. Okay. But I just wanted to go, uh, we've already sampled these and set them on the seat. And they actually, with that little extra foam, it makes the seat feel even better. So um, it just gives you a little better feel. So anyway, um, now that we've covered that, uh, I just want to touch base here of what you guys were seeing. You saw there in the video when I was taking this loose, this is that lock that we were talking about. And this makes it a little bit easier for you to see it. Um, so this little guy is, uh, once you push this, this other socket into this, this is going to close back up and it will go back up and latch. Now this, I've pulled it loose, like I said, it goes right here. So once you get back it, get it, you could put it in here now, you probably could. I'm gonna leave it loose and I'll put it back up inside there. You'll see that it's keyed, okay? And then the harness that comes out, that normally goes into here, comes out of the floor. It goes right into this little guy right here, this little kick holder here. So you're just gonna push, push all those back up once you reconnect this, okay? So now, as far as the actual installation of the bottom of the seat, well, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and move the back over here. What you're gonna to wanna to do, and you're gonna be able to do this either on the bench or you're gonna be able to do this just by rocking it forward or backwards, not a big deal. This, these two straps here, they hold the back cosmetic uh, trim cover of the back of the seat. Uh, so everything is all nice and tucked away normally, right? So, but you've gotta be able to take these loose and they're just sitting up there like that. So just drop those down and you'll be able to feel those from underneath, okay? Um, at that point, you're gonna go ahead, you've got, you've got a couple seat, uh, seat clips here, okay? These are on the front, this is in the middle. And this just comes apart like that. And then we've got three clips here that go through the very back of the seat. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna just take the cover, okay? And you're just going to go ahead and put it on, this, on the seat, okay? And you're gonna see here, hopefully you can see my hand. You see that? I'm actually pushing, pushing the, I'm gonna push one of the, um, three black clips that are attached to the um, you can see it right here that's attached to the the straps okay and you're just pulling them through and basically what they do you're just putting them right through the slot and then they're, they're turning and locking in place so it's very simple to do but without moving this removing these straps and removing this you're not going to be able to get into this area here so once you get these in there like so, okay, just like that. And then we've got one more, I think, over here. And they're just gonna come through. Just like that. So you can see right there, I'm just pulling it loose. And it goes in there like that. Now that seat from the back side is already secure. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and take the seat, move it like that. And you can see how that looks. It looks pretty darn nice. It's nice and tight, it looks good, right? And um, so now we can go ahead and we can put this cover on. You can see it's got the Velcro, so we've got to go pull our Velcro loose. And it may try to close back up on you as you're doing this, but if you keep it separated, it'll probably be okay. And you're literally going to pull it down. Now you guys have seen, while I'm doing this, so let me tell you a little bit. 
You've seen me do installations on seat covers for actual, you know, reskinning the seats on C4s. You've seen me do a C5. Um, it's not exactly the funnest thing in the world, and it takes hours to do that. So if you already have, you know, you got a C7 and you've got, um, uh, and you've, you're having issues with your seats, right? Um, then this is probably going to be the easiest, simplest way to make your seats look brand new again. And if your seats are in still in great shape and you want to make sure that they're not going to get damaged, then again, a great way to do it. These things are waterproof, um, so you know you screw these up, you're not screwing up the you know your brand new interior of the seats or in your car. So. Um, at this point, all we're doing here, we're just going to make sure that they all fit nice and snug here, okay? And then I'm going to pull the Velcro through. Seeing able, being able to see that it's getting nice and snug up there. Okay. And there we go. Look at that. So, now, you remember we were talking about these other little clips. We've got three more clips just like these. Okay. So all we're going to do, let me turn this around here. Let me see if I can turn this around. So you guys can see it. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to, you can see that we've got our original cover here, okay? So I'm going to take, I'm going to take these little guys and I'm going to push them through. You should be able to see, see it come through there. Just like this. So it's not too hard. Okay? It just goes in there like that, okay? I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I can get my fingers in there. There we go. Just like that. You just have to work with them to get them to straighten themselves out. There we go. And we've got one more. Almost there. You'll be able to feel it. Okay. All right, guys, I turned the seat around so you guys could see this a little bit better, but we've, we've got our straps here at the bottom, we've got our straps up at the top, and then the seat itself actually has a couple straps here that we just have to strap down. So I wanted to make this really clear for you where these go. So this is just gonna go, this is the original seat backing, and you're just gonna pull those, put them right there like that, okay? Just like that, okay? Then at that point, you're gonna be able to take these the back ones that's part of the seat itself, or the cover, and you're just gonna bring it right over to this little cross strap that we had already hooked up. And we're gonna hook those on like that, okay? So those aren't going anywhere. Then we've got our two front straps right here, and we're just gonna go right over like that, and over like this, okay? Now, if you notice here, what I did is I went across here and across over to the inside edge of the motors where you make sure that the linkages are not getting, getting these straps in there and it cut something or ruins something, okay? So the last step that you've got to do is on the very back side over here is a zipper. So you can see this right here, and this just seals the seat Right, so it doesn't it doesn't start sliding around on you. Once you're done with that, you're good. Okay, at that point, we're gonna go ahead and I'll set it back up. You can take a look at what it looks like. Okay, a little 
part that wants to move over here. <laughs> We need to get a new cart with some brakes on it. Well, there you go. That's what she looks like. That wasn't that hard, okay? Um, doing it out of the car like this, I think, is harder than doing it just lifting and tilting the seat. So if you happen to have somebody that'll help you, just tilt it back, tilt it forward, and then you'll be able to reach underneath there and strap these things in. But otherwise, um, it, so if I wasn't filming this for you guys to be able to see it, I would have never pulled it out of the car. Hi everybody! You guys all see Terry and I doing these installations on these videos as we show you how to go about doing it. And I'm always saying that if you guys don't want to do this yourself, don't want to tackle it yourself, to reach out and we'll give you a quote on how to do it. If you guys knew are in need of any of this type of work being done, let me know. Reach out to me. I'm going to get that information right here on the screen and we'll be happy to help you. Alright, so you want to make sure that you're careful. You're putting the seat in. Let me see if I can go this way here. That you don't scrape your paint or catch your your new seats. Okay, get that in there. That's what she looks like right there, like that. Okay. Then at that point, we're just gonna plug this plug back in. And then I'm just plugging the straps or plugging the the um, the connector back into the holders on the bottom of the seat. Okay. There we go. Now at that point, what we'll have to do is we'll have to hook the battery back up. So then that way we can get to our bolts and we can tighten them up. So now, guys, some of the cars depending on what year they are. And if I remember right, the 14s and 15s, they tend to remember all of their settings. Um, don't hold me to that, but I know with my car, when I took my battery loose, I put a new battery in it, it didn't forget anything. On the 16, which I've done on this car before, I've had to change things on it, take the battery loose, and sure enough, it forgets all your settings. So you may have to re-index your windows, you may have to reset your stereo, you may re -ha might have to go ahead and reset your memory on your seats and things like that, okay? But it's a heck of a lot safer to do it by taking the battery cable loose than taking the chance of blowing the airbag out of that seat, okay? You know, when that's, that's thousands of dollars versus 10 or 15 minutes of your time to reset everything. Okay, so now that I'm already plugged back in, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to I'm going to hook my battery back up. Okay. Is that? All right. And then we should be able to go ahead and move our seat back, just like that, which will expose our our nuts for our front bolts. We'll go ahead and put those bolts on, those nuts on, I should say. Then we're going to move the seat forward. And that'll reveal the, the back nuts. The only thing you have left is to put your your little uh, your little bolt back here on your seat belt. So untie your knot that we put in there so it wouldn't totally retract. Make sure that this is all the way the way it's supposed to be. And then go ahead and lock it in place. Just like that. Oops, <laughs> wrong one. Getting ahead of myself here. And there we go. So 
Now you can put that on there like that if you want to. Okay. Put our seat back. And there you go. So, like I said, guys, uh, we're done now. But this would have been, very, like I said, a lot easier if we didn't pull it out of the car, okay? Um, you wouldn't have had to take the battery loose. You wouldn't have had to take everything, all these, all the different uh, screws loose, all that stuff. You have to take your four main bolts and that's it, or four main nuts off the bolts. Besides that, you're good. So guys, that's how you go ahead and you install these seat covers. Um, if you decide that you want to go ahead and get a set of these for yourself, go to customcovers.com or you can go to extremeonlinestore.com and they will be able to help you, okay? Uh, extremeonlinestore.com is a distributor for customcovers.com. That's a new company that is doing a great job with these. They've been doing it for a little while and uh, they're expanding their line. They've been doing it for Camaro and a bunch of other different uh, covers for a while. Um, but uh, they just uh, they just got into doing C7 and I think they're doing a great job. So anyway, I'm gonna put that information here on the screen. And uh, now that you know where to get them, you also know how to put them in. So uh, you're set. They've got a whole bunch of different ones. Like I said, uh, you're gonna see some of the pictures. We, we went ahead and we put them in the car already. Uh, they've got uh, the red and the black and the black and the red. And they've got, so I think, solid black and they've got black with blue. Uh, you name it, they pretty much have it, okay? So be sure and check out their website and they're gonna be able to help you with that. Okay, so guys, I just wanna thank you guys all for watching today. Uh, if you guys have not already subscribed to the channel, I would really appreciate it if you guys would. If you have already, please hit that like button and hit that bell so you'll be alerted of our next uploads. And uh, guys, thanks again for watching and you guys have a great night.